Okay, let's look at this K map. So this is a three variable, so I have to have eight cells, just like I have to have eight rows in my truth table. And I have labeled the top, not W, not X, not Y. So I change one thing from here, not Y to Y. And I go through here, just changing one variable at a time. Now I begin to plug in to these addresses. So I take the one from here and put it at not W, not X, not Y. So let's see what that looks like. So as I begin to put those in place, right, you see that they're going to their corresponding addresses. So the next one that's gonna go in is WX, not Y, and then finally WXY. So there are groups of one, eight, there are groups of two. So there's a pair that would be the address not A, not B. Because, why? Because C changed, so we throw it away. This one would be not AB, because C changed. This one would be AB, again C changed. This would be A, not B, because C changed. Now this one would be not A, not C, because as I look between these two ones, what changed here was B, so that's what I throw away. Again, what changed was B, so I have not A that I take from here, and C that I take from here. So as I move through those, you can see A changed, so I threw it away. A changed, so I threw it away. B was the constant, C was constant. Here, B changed, so it's A, not C, and this one would be A, C. Now this is a group, remember I said that these are three-dimensional, they wrap around. You can think of them like making cylinders in two directions. So only one thing changes between this term and this term, and it, not C stays the same. From here to here, A changed, but not B was the same. So we throw away, not, we throw away A, and we have not B, not C. Again, same thing. So remember that the corners are an option on K-map groupings. So groups of four, there's a group of four, that would just be not C. You see the bigger the group you get, the smaller the term is. This one would be C. That term would be A because B changed here as I went from here to here, and C changed as I went from here to here. That would be B, that would be not A. This one would be not B, and this would be the one group of eight that would be one. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is look at a three variable K map. So now let's look at a three variable example. And this one has the terms E, F, and G. And I've went ahead and labeled this first one here. Okay, so if I move from here to here, what do I want to call that one? Well, that one would be G, right? So now here, as I move down, I only want to change one, so I'm going to change the F first. So this one will be E, not E, and this one will be F. Now I have to change E and keep F the same. And then finally, I have to keep E the same and change F. And now I look to double check to be sure only one thing changes every time, and I double check from here to here. So here I have not F in common and the E's are different, so that's good. Now I wanna take these and put them in my truth table. So I have this one and this one, this one, this one. I have four ones to put in. So the first one goes at not E, not F, G. Not E, not F, G, that's gonna be here. Not E, F, not G, here. Then this one's going to be at E, not F, here, and then, let's see, um, G, so here. And my last one is going to be at E, F, not G, here. So my other entries are zeros. And I want to combine, so I start by looking for anywhere there is a one, okay, and that's isolated. None of these are isolated. So I have two groups. I have this loop, and I have this loop. Remember, it's three-dimensional, so these wrap around. Okay, and so let's look at what the terms would be. 
for this one, what would the term be? It's going to have a G in it. And as I move from here to here, E changed, but F stayed the same. It was not F, so that is not F, G. And on this one, as I look at it, it's definitely going to be not G. Then what, as I move from here to here, E changes, so I throw it away, so the other term is F. So the answer for this one let's call it T in this case, is going to be F not G or not F G. Okay. So I hope that helps you understand three variables.